And first to that burgeoning row over water charges. Progressive Democrat leader Mary Harney denies she made a gaffe. And she told a news conference in Dublin this morning she stood by her view that water should be paid for. The Minister for the Environment, Brendan Howland, accused Ms Harney of getting her facts wrong. He said, having made a gaffe yesterday, she was now digging a bigger hole for herself. The Taoiseach has also entered the debate. In Waterford this afternoon, Mr Bruton said it was important now for Fianna Foyle to clarify where they stood on the issue. It should be available to everyone. The election hasn't been called, but nonetheless the boxing gloves are off, as if the campaign were underway. The Progressive Democrats' news conference this morning called to unveil their plan for an independent charitable trust to distribute lottery money was dominated to a large extent by the water charges controversy. The PD leader Mary Harney was unrepentant about her remarks that in government her party would give serious consideration to reintroducing water charges. It is never a gap to tell the truth. I want the hallmark of my political career to be that I always told the truth and that I levelled with the public. And the fact is that the proposals being put forward by the government are going to cost £1 billion. And regardless of who is in government after the next election, they will have to find that money. We cannot go on in Ireland uh, giving people a limitless amount of water free. It's an expensive commodity. We're the only country in Europe that does that. And I don't believe in fooling the, the people. Well, Mary Harney said two things in the same sentence. She said she wanted to be remember, remembered always for telling the truth. And then she said the programme that I denounced would cost a billion pounds. That is not true. So I think, firstly, the PDs would finally need to get their facts right. Between, on one hand, uh, their spokesman, Bobby Malloy, throwing 23 million at a problem that we knew we could resolve for a third of that. Uh, and now uh, his party leader deciding that in fact it was wrong to abolish water charges altogether. Mary Harney clearly made a major gaffe on radio yesterday. She's been scrambling uh, to get out of the gaffe. In fact, she's been digging a larger hole for herself. And I heard today the greatest irony of all, the Fianna Fáil spokesman uh, declared that they have a policy, but they can't tell anybody about it for three weeks. So while Labour and the Progressive Democrats slug it out again, this time on water charges, today Fianna Fáil refused to get embroiled in the controversy. The party says it will not reveal its strategy in this area until they publish their policy document on local government in about two weeks' time. However, it does seem clear as if Fianna Fáil and Mary Harney are not about to agree on the reintroduction of water charges. The Green Party has called for the metering of domestic water supplies as part of an approach that would penalise people who waste water. The Greens have proposed that each household should get a basic water allowance, but that extra use would have to be paid for. The party this evening launched its election manifesto and its list of 26 candidates for the general election. in Dublin's Mansion House this evening for the launch of their manifesto and the start of their general election campaign. Not surprisingly, their approach to the top political issue of the week, water charges, is different from that of the more established parties. The Greens reject both the PD's proposal to retain the existing water charges and the government's plan to scrap them. Instead, they want domestic water supplies metered. We would suggest that people should have a free water allowance, that they shouldn't pay the use, the service of water, but the charges should come into effect if people waste water. With 26 candidates nationwide, the Greens believe they could pick up a number of seats and hold the balance of power in the next doll. The Green parties have entered government in Germany, in Finland, and in, they're contemplating it in Denmark and other parts of uh, Europe. Certainly the Green Party in Ireland are prepared uh, to enter government at whatever level, whenever it becomes a possibility for them. But which coalition partners would the Greens be closest to? Well, I think the question should be uh, which of the two government blocs that are forming at the moment, the, the present government arrangement or the likely Fianna Fáil uh, PD coalition, is prepared to take Green Party policies on board, and whichever is, is more than likely to, to talk to us and have our agreement towards supporting that future government. 